there. Yes. Because that's deeply important. Yes. Okay, so I'm so glad about that. But I have to admit that during those very complicated times, you were the only person that came out and stood up to Suge Knight and spoke out. And for me, during a time where I really felt like my hands were tied and mm. I was powerless, mm. the fact that you were like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. There were still people that I cared about that were entangled in that mix in a certain mm. way. And the fact that you were willing to set boundaries gave me a relax, right? And just the message that it sent, and it kind of took the boogie off the boogeyman. Right. Mm. Right. Wow. I get it. Yeah. I, trust me, I get it. That was such a painful time. But you had to take your stance on, you know what? This is not my fight. Yes. Yeah. Snoop, can I, I just you. tell you? I got your back. That's but that's it. a brotherhood, sisterhood that we must create without talking. You wow. get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm I shouldn't have to, to talk to you to get your back. But that's what I'm saying, Snoop. So then here we go. The second time. Talk to me. All right? Talk to me. The second time I was rooting for you was your apology to Gail King. Mm. Can I just tell you why? When you first said what you said, you know, in regards to Gail. Yes. My heart dropped. I felt like not only were you talking to Gail, but you were talking to me. Mm. I was like, oh no, Snoop has now taken his power flow away from me, away from Willow, mm. away from my mother. Mm -mm. Right? I was like, oh. If this is what's happening, I was like, not nah, Snoop. Right. Let me ask how you even got in that space, because I know that you have dealt with a lot a of loss, loss right. recently. It was just a matter of me losing control, because mm -hmm. we still haven't swallowed nip. Mm 